Hey everybody, Sean McInnes here alongside Brian Lindley, producer on Need for Speed the Run, here to tell us a little bit about EA's upcoming racer. Brian, um, so obviously one of the big selling points of this game is that it is a cross-country road trip of sorts. So my first question I've got for you, the two bookends, San Francisco, New York. What is it about these two particular cities that made you decide to start and end their journey there instead of Los Angeles, Boston, Miami, Portland, any other two combinations I can think of? Uh, well, in terms of San Francisco, it gives us uh, a pretty damn cool city to uh, to start the race off in and, and create some pretty awesome visuals. We're using the Frostbite engine, so we get to do some pretty cool stuff with the cool iconographic iconography in, in terms of the uh, the landmarks that, that are in San Francisco. That's probably the biggest reason we started there. Uh, and in terms of finishing in New York, what, what other city would you want to finish in on the East Coast? Like New York is the center of the world in many people's minds, so why, why wouldn't we finish there? It just made sense. And how about all the cities in between? How did you go about deciding which uh, which slices of America you wanted to feature in this road trip? Uh, you know, it's uh, I think we, we look at it from a gameplay perspective is where can we create cool moments and make cool drives? And that's probably where we started. Uh, and so that kind of naturally takes us through various parts of the country. Uh, obviously, we got other big cities like Chicago that we're going through, Las Vegas that we might be driving by. Uh, so there's a there's definitely uh, a real sense of what thought we thought would make cool gameplay and also make just cool environments for people to drive through. And you mentioned a moment ago that this game is running on the Frostbite engine, obviously made famous by the Battlefield series. Yeah. What's your guys' experience been like taking this engine that's you know traditionally been used on these first-person shooters and adapting it for a racing game? I imagine that's come with some uh, some hurdles that you guys have overcome, right? Well, we, we definitely had a lot of help from the guys at DICE, which has been great. Um, and certainly it's been a challenge turning it into a driving engine, but you know we're kind of seeing the light at the end of that tunnel at this point with this game. Uh, and it's, it's just really opened up a whole new world of opportunities in terms of what we can do with the engine, the flexibility of the tool set, and then what comes with it is even even better in terms of the hot visuals that you get and obviously great audio and just top of the line visuals and soundscape. Now let's talk about uh, car handling for a moment. Need for Speed series, obviously well known as an arcade style racing game. Everybody has their sort of sweet spot and it seems like no two people have the same one in terms of arcade handling. Uh, simulation handling. Where are you guys trying to aim with this game? Uh, we're trying to aim right around in the middle uh, between arcade and simulation. I think um, just you know, based on where we're at now, I feel like we've struck that balance pretty effectively. Um, obviously, you know, one end of the spectrum. You may look at a game like Hopper Suit that has you know pretty arcadey uh, sort of controls, and then on the other end of the spectrum, a game like Shift, which is much more simulation and realism focused. And so we're trying to obviously strike the balance in between. So cars that are easy to pick up and play, controls that are easy to sort of get your head around and get your hands on, but still have the characteristics and feel authentic and have that depth. Uh, and I think we're really delivering that with the run. Right, Brian, the last question I've got for you is about uh, the cars themselves again. I've, you know, I've only been on a few cross-country road trips myself, but they generally begin and end in the same car. How do you explain in the game why you're sort of jumping around these different automobiles? Well, a lot of it's going to be driven by the story. So I think what we showed in Chicago uh, is where you know Jack gets get knocked out of his car through an accident, and he just basically has to figure out how to get out of the city. Uh, and there's going to be other moments like that throughout the experience where he's going to be forced to adapt to the story and the situation, and that may mean he has to go change cars. So uh, it's really a, sort of a function of the narrative that, uh, that Jack gets to, to, to start and finish in all kinds of different cars. Brian, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, go ahead and remind everybody out there when Need for Speed the Run is going to be out in stores, the platforms it'll be out for. So Need for Speed the Run ships on uh, November 15th. We'll be out on 360, PS3, PC, uh, Wii, and 3DS, and uh, mobile devices. Thanks a lot. No problem.